Yo, yo, yo. We back. Um, I'm back with um another video like this where I'm um sitting down. I'm talking about well, last video I did 20 great films where I sat here. I talk about films. Um, well, I talked about films last video. I just went down 20 films. Talked about my love for films also, and. I want to start doing like information videos where I just sit here, talk about um, something I'm interested in. That could be like a person, um, a thing, you know. So, yeah. By the title of this video, we're talking about Prince. And right when I say Prince, you probably know a Prince. He's world worldwide. So, if you don't know Prince, um, I guess... You know now, I have them on my wall. I got this album, and I got the um, iconic Purple Rain album also. So, um, yeah. Mostly, I'm not going to be talking mostly about music, to say. I mean, I will we will be touching down on music, because that's like... I mean, he's an artist, he's a musician. So, but I am going to be touching on style, and how he... um has impacted me with clothes and style and um just being comfortable with wearing just heel boots bro and just like other things like that just to step out your comfort zone not as a masculine a masculine way because he didn't really dress masculine but like the way he dressed like the way he dressed he um he made it like his own swag you know what i'm saying like he didn't he didn't dress like a girl to say, but, like, he threw his own swag to it, like, it wasn't, like, a masculinity type of outfit, like, a, a man should be, like, the, like, the, I don't even know the proper way a man should dress, I don't know, but he, um, pushed that boundary, and he, um, did whatever he wanted to, like, he literally made his own style, bro, that's, like, one of the reasons why I want to make this video too, because I love fashion, I love clothes, and he's one of the people that I look up to, or I, you know, what I'm saying I just look at for just style, style inspiration, because he um didn't care, but he didn't care what he what people thought, and that's why he was one of the greatest to do it. But yeah, just sit back, relax, and we're gonna talk about Prince. Um. One of my favorite musicians of all time. Um, one of my favorite artists of all time. And yeah, we're going to go down the story of um, Prince. So sit back. I got my purple banana on. Um, yeah, bro. Show my respect. No cap. So I'm going to run down the main origin. If y'all don't know anything about Prince. Like if you just don't know where he's from. Whatever. Rest in peace to Prince too. He passed away I think 2016. So... Yeah, man, he passed away. I don't, I don't know why people... I don't know, man. Like, all the legends and all the greatest of all time passed away too soon. He was, like, 56 or... Yeah, I think he was 56, but... Yeah, they take him too soon, man. Like, it's crazy, but... Yeah, rest in peace of Prince. And... Uh, Dad, if you're watching this... I can't... I can't do this without shouting you out. Um, he put me on. If it wasn't for my dad, I probably would have never, like... I mean, I've known of Prince. I known of Prince, but I wouldn't have known, and I wouldn't have like got in so deep if it wasn't for my dad. So, shout out to dad. Um, my dad was a very, very, very big fan of Prince back in the day. He had like posters on that, and um, the um generation keeps going. I got Purple Rain. I got Purple Rain um poster. I got um Revolution um the band that poster too for Purple Rain. No, for, yeah, for, for, yeah, for Purple Rain, I forgot, so, yeah, shout out to Dad, he put me on, I'm not one of those type of people to be like, um, I put myself on to every single thing I ever know, like, I don't, bro, he put me on, that's all I can say, he put me on, and, um, yeah, but yeah, let's go to the, let's go through the origin, and then we're gonna go down the era of every album, cause every album, he has, he had a different era, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's evolution. He was he was con he was 
consistently dropping albums until he passed away, and his worth, his work ethic was something. It was it was crazy, bro. Like he always was working, putting music out, um, evolving. So yeah, the story of Prince. Let's go. Prince Rogers Nelson was an American singer, multi instrumentalist, songwriter, record record producer, and actor. Numerous awards and nominations. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest musicians of his generation. Born June seventh, nineteen fifty eight, in Minneapolis. Died April twenty first, age fifty seven. But he died three days before my birthday. That's crazy. Twenty yeah, he died twenty sixteen. Born in nineteen fifty eight. So I don't know the, the exact age, but he was he knew every instrument. I think when he was fourteen or before he got into high school, he um mastered every instrument. He knew how to play every instrument. The genre he was in, he was very, very versatile. Another thing that I can put to this, very versatile artist. Like one of the probably one of the most versatile artists, um genre was like it's it's crazy it's crazy when I say the genres out loud. Um it was jazz, soul, hip hop, pop funk um if i'm not mistaken yeah r&b rock and just from that list of genres is crazy so from his first album his debut album for you released in 1978 the one i have on my wall right here um this is when he first came out and it's a lot of f um funk you know disc you know what I'm saying funk disco some of my personal favorites on the album, we got I'm Yours, In Love, For You, Crazy You, and um, My Love Is Forever. I think that's one of them, yeah. But, um, yeah, bro, his first debut, debut album that he produced all by itself, and crazy album, bro, Cr like, crazy album. The voice, bro, like, the cadences, bro, everything was just crazy bro especially for his very very first album 1978 um crazy bro going to his second album prince um self-titled album released in 19 released in 1979 um another album that was very funk like disco type the impact he had in the 80s in the seventies too, but late eighty like late eighties and then early nineties, all through the nineties. Um his impact was crazy, bro. Like, you know, we had Prince, we had MJ, bro, we had all the different artists, but I feel like Prince was one of the ones where he really changed the culture for like funk, um, disco and all that. It's just everything in Bro, everything combined. Um, jazz, soul, hip hop. Yeah, he was very, very, very versatile. Um, next album we got Dirty Mind. Another very fun. This is like him building his sound in the um in the eighties, and just building his sound, and then all through the evolution, you will see that his sound is just different, bro. Like very different, bro. Very different. We have nineteen ninety nine that he drops in the eighties also, and Go from 1999 to Dirty Mind to Prince and then to For You and Controversy. Con I don't know why I can't say that, bro. But Autumn albums led up to his most um, anticipated album and one of probably one of the biggest albums of all time, other than like, you know, Thriller, all that. Um, comes in Purple Rain. And I think this is when he, like, really, like, shot off, just changed the world, bro, in the 80s. Like, he really changed the world in the 80s, bro. Going stupid. I wish I was, that's why I always say, like, I was born in the, like, in the wrong era. Because I, bro, I just wish I was alive to see that. Um, I, yeah, I just wish I was alive to see that in the 80s, bro. I feel like that would have been amazing and now we just have all the music we have now is very bland bro and it's not it's not like i mean don't get me wrong we have a uh, a lot of good music bro but i mean it's not like how it was back in the day and um the just 
the original, like, just it being different and unique, bro, we don't have that no more, for real, so, I mean, we still do, but not as much as we had, we had it in the 90s, 80s, 70s, 60s, so, yeah, but yeah, Purple Rain really changed him, um, Purple Rain really put him on the map, coming on, coming off of Purple Rain, the album, songs like When Doves Cry, Let's Go Crazy, I Would Die For You, Take Me With You, all these songs had a, um, just masterpieces of songs, bro. It's just a masterpiece of an album. But dropping this album, he also dropped a film called Purple Rain, and he acts in it. And um, good movie, bro. It's just it tells you the story of him, and it's like actually him acting. It's not like a um, you know, another person trying to in- imitate him, and it's actually him playing like him in the in the movie. So, yeah, very very cool movie to watch. You should watch it too. If you like the album, you should watch the film also. Purple Rain is the album that put him, put him on the map. But the other albums that he dropped in the 80s, like, you know, Dirty Mind, For You and all that, um, set him to the sound that he wanted to probably get for Purple Rain, I would, I would imagine. Going from Purple Rain, we go to Around the World. In a day, I think another one of his um, biggest albums, if I'm not mistaken, and pretty good songs on that album too. And I feel like he just gets into a whole different bag, and you know, keeps the um, evolution going. And the next album, Sign of the Times, and this is one of my favorites too. Other than like per, uh, per Rain for You, Sign of the Times is a very great album too. A lot of great music on that one too. And then we got Love Sexy. And then after that, we got Batman where he like, bro, he literally got into a whole, di- this is what I'm saying with like, every album is a different era. So with Batman, he literally had a whole era of him being like half Joker and half himself. And making like the bat dance and all these other songs, um, come you know, it's just showing. I guess showing respect to Batman. I don't know, but yeah, bro, very cool era, very good album. Also, I can say. Then going up, bro, we got music from Graffiti Bridge, and then we go Diamonds and Pearls, Love Symbol, and Love Symbol is when I started seeing like. Well, when I was going through all the albums, I was like, oh, this is really fire, bro. And then when I started hearing him rapping, Love Symbol, we got My Name is Prince. I think one of the songs that my, yeah, the song that my dad put me on to. And that's when I was like, okay, hold on. I'm, I'm going to start checking Prince out because he sounds fire. Like, he sounds fire. So, Love Symbol was one of the ones where he um got his rap, his hip-hop bag and I like, actually rapped. And um he might have done it before. I don't know. But that was the first time I saw that. That was the first time I noticed it. You know what I'm saying? So, Love Symbol. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like that's the first album he did, like, any rapping or hip-hop or anything like that. Um, He probably did earlier, like, earlier in the like in the past, like, before that album. But, yeah, Love Symbol. Yeah, bro, I just saw the swag, bro. I saw, like, the versatility when I, when I listened to My Name is Prince. It was, bro, crazy, man, crazy. And then we got next album, Come. And then before I before I get into all the other ones, Around the World in a Day dropped in 1985. Silent Times, 1987. Love Stacy, 1988. Batman, 1989. Music from the Gra- Graffiti Bridge, 1989. Let's just say he dropped a lot of albums in the 80s. And that's what I'm saying with work, work ethic. Like, bro, he was just... A working machine, bro. Like, constantly dropping albums and constantly evolving with different sounds, too. And then we go to the Go Experience, where he has, like, a whole different sound with the Go Experience. And just a whole different way of making an album, too. It was very... It's di- you know what I'm saying? Like, all these albums are very, very different to each other. Um, and then we got Chaos and D- Disorder. And then we have... M- 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 Imputation. I don't know how to say the word, bro. Anticipation. Anticipation. My fault. Didn't know how to say the word for a second. So this album is probably one of my favorites. 
like we got Love Somebody, a record, and then we have Face Down that I really liked. And also like music videos and just his creative expression with like we can get into clothes in a little bit, but his creative expression with with videos and like film was crazy, bro. Like just the way uh, a song would sound would probably just sound way better if you watched the video with it. And he know he know he know how to he knew how to um direct videos in that way and make the song master video and the cut like the color patterns the angles the outfits in the video bro everything was just it was him bro that's all I can say it was him and it was all unique it was different it was um it was Prince bro that's all uh, that's it bro it was Prince it was Prince so that album is probably one of my favorites I need to get this on my wall. Very soon, so I need to get that vinyl. Um, next one we got the truth, and this is um he went he like he went into like a guitar era or bag where he um played guitar ac- acoustic guitar um sang and yeah that was really like his um I guess him guess him trying out guitar and acu- but he just has so many different sounds and then we go to the crystal ball. And this is when he gets into like the electric and um just the electric sounding music I would say. And bro the sounds and all I, I don't wanna play any I don't wanna play any songs because I don't wanna get copyrighted or anything like that. You just have to listen to this album. You have to listen to these these albums, bro. You have to listen to these albums. So the crystal ball and in the nineteen nineties he dropped literally like so many albums also. And then we have Raven to the Joy Fantastic, where he gets into, like I said, like the electric, robotic type of, type of sound, I would say. And again, he gets into a whole different bag. He gets into a whole different era. Um, This, like, bluish fit, bro, with this album cover is insane. Um, And then we go to the Rainbow Children, where he just, you know, he's taking on that era. Expectation, I think that's how you say it. Um, we go news where he does like, I'm uh, pretty sure the whole tape is like north, east, west, south. We go to the slaughterhouse, tax from the MPG Music Club Volume Two. Um, that album is fire, bro. Like that was like him doing. He, he was in his rap bag doing the slaughterhouse. I love that tape. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Slaughterhouse. And then we go to um, Musicology, where he goes into like a, a singing bag, soul, um, jazz type of um, sounding. We go 3121, another great album that I, I personally enjoy. We go Planet Earth, dropped in 2007, year I was born. And um, where he does like guitars, a very rock aesthetic um with that album and then we go mpl sound where he does like a very the robotic electric futuristic that's another great word to put it like a futuristic sound and um yeah and then we go to lotus flower i think that's how you say it i think that's how you say it we go 2010 we go plectrum i don't know how to say that Artificial Age, Hit Run, Phase 1, Phase 2, I think Phase 3 too, I think. And um, that's when he got into the Fro era, when he had a Fro. And bro, all these albums, bro, all of these albums was all different, all different um eras, all different eras, all different eras. And y'all will see about the B-roll I put in the video. Y'all will see the era. So y'all just don't see me talking. But every album had a different era. And um, I'm trying to go in depth for the editing. So y'all can see the eras in each album. He dropped so much. Like he was so consistent. And his work ethic was just unbelievable bro. It was unbelievable. His um his style was the main thing to look at bro. So... Cause when you first saw Prince, you when you first saw Prince, you probably, you know, like 
it gives you a ideal interpretation of what he what his music probably sounds like. Cause that's just the vibe he brought, bro. He brought that like just that that energy, bro. He brought the energy um, through his music and also through his style, bro. Like through his outfits, um, very flamboyant and very just very out there, but you know, like very calm, like cool, calm and collect too. Cause he had his own style. It was very, very chill too, bro. But it was out there, bro. Like it was different. And it was like, it was something you was not seeing nobody doing. I mean, it was back in probably the eight, like seventies, eighties. People wearing um. I'm sitting here thinking. I don't know why I cannot think of the jeans, bro. The um, just the flare boot cut jeans. But I thought it had a name, bro. That's kind of kind of max. I can't think of it right now. You know the jeans that people were wearing like all through the seventies and eighties, bro. Um, and it was boot cut, like flared, flared pants, but they have a name. I don't know. I'll put a picture up. I mean, so y'all can get an image, but I don't know. I can't think of the pants, bro. But, um, yeah, very, everything was like in the seventies and eighties was very flamboyant and very out there. And, um, more like on the feminine side with like skinny jeans, more tired of jeans um and then you know go to the 80s you go to i'm not gonna do a whole fashion evolution but you know the 2000s where people wear baggy jeans and all that but prince was really like putting his style out there like and he didn't care what nobody thought he very he was very um yeah bro he did not care like he didn't care and just the way he was like putting heel, like he was putting heeled boots on, and I'm not talking about heeled boots like I'll be wearing. I'm talking about real deal heel boots where the heel will be like this thin, bro. But he would pull it off though. Like he would pull it off. He'd be wearing like crop tops, bro. Like very very crop to his um his nipples, bro. He'd be wearing tight jeans, but he like. He just pulled it off, bro, and he was like a, he was a gangster, bro, like, he, I, I want to say gangster, but I saw a video of, like, DMA talking about how he was really, like, he was a pimp, bro, he was a pimp, like, he wasn't no, like, sissy, or, I'm not gonna say the word on YouTube, but he wasn't, like, one of them ones, bro, like, even though he dressed kind of like it, even though it wasn't like that, bro, like, it was, like, swag, bro, like, he really pulled it off, and, um, most time he dressed like a girl, but he pulled it off. Like, he could do that, bro, because he was Prince. Like, he did that, bro. He made that cool. Like, he made that type of thing cool, bro. And he, he like, he didn't put, he didn't, gen, gen, he didn't genderize, he didn't genderize anything. Like, he didn't put gender on any clothes or outfits, bro. He just put it on, bro, and whatever felt comfortable to him. But, bro, I just, I, I've been through so many, like, his style evolution is, crazy bro like crazy i've been down to it bro. i've been through it i've been seeing everything bro and especially the, the video on somebody somebody in um emancipation whatever the heck that word is bro um in that album he was wearing like a fur coat he like and around that time that was his era he wore like a fur coat and um bro it's just so fire bro like he'd be wearing heel boots bro like dressing like just crazy but he made it work like he made it work and he made it he made it stylish bro he made it his own style that's a lot of inspiration i took from prince bro because he did not care bro like even this fit right here is wearing a purple rain like it, it was crazy bro like especially to people nowadays but not probably not probably back then because that's just how everything was but now like if people was walking around like that i mean it's, it's way different bro like it's way different so but yeah i i, I can't i, I kind of put a lot of inspiration of his style to my style sometimes when i'm wearing like heel boots or when i want to just get in that bag bro and i don't really care what people think bro and i just you know yeah but prince brought a lot to the table bro with his genre his style the albums he put out the music videos the style on um, the music, everything, bro. The film, 
I mean, he put out he uh, other few films he was in that I didn't touch on, but he was in a, a few other films. Prince is one of a kind. Like I can truly say that he was one of a kind, and bro, it's just one of the ones, bro. He's one of the ones, and I I wasn't gonna make this like a very very long video, but. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Yeah, and another thing is, like, I watched a lot of interviews, and he just was very wise, bro, and he, like, he taught the truth. Like, he spoke the truth. He spoke the truth. And, um, just, I watched almost, I've been, like, I caught up in, I caught up on interviews. I caught up on albums. I caught up on the Purple Rain movie, bro. Like, I've been doing my homework for a while. So, um, yeah, bro, Prince is one of a kind. Rest in peace, bro. He probably would have been, probably, I don't know how, he was like 50-something when he died. So, he'd probably be like 60-something now. But, um, yeah, bro. Maybe, yeah, I always, I don't know why it happens to the goats, bro. But, I mean, that's how it is, man. That's how it is. But, yeah, shout out to Prince. I'm probably going to be getting that one, uh, that one album again soon just to put, just to put on my wall. Um, that's the collection, but yeah, I'm gonna have like three Prince albums, but it's all good, yeah. But yeah, like all the effort and everything he put into the his work ethic to put albums out, bro. He probably put out probably 20 albums in the 80s, bro, or close to 20 albums in the 80s. So yeah, man, the work ethic, the work ethic, the the videos, the style, the music. Um, I don't know why I cannot think right now, bro. The versatility. Um, just the art within the style, the videos, the music, everything, bro. It's, everything was just different, and everything was him. So, yeah, I really feel like he made his own, his own way and his own style with everything, bro. So, yeah, I really take a lot of inspiration from Prince, and I just wanted to make this video just to, um, show my appreciation, bro, and just show that he was one of the ones, bro. He was one of the ones, and, um... He did not. He did not care about opinions, bro, or anything, bro. Like he just was gonna do what he wanted to do, and um, he made. He just made an impact from doing that. So, uh, yeah, gives me a lot of um, inspiration. It gives me a lot of motivation and inspiration from um. That output that Prince had, that input that he had to um, I mean the output he had to the world and everyone around him. But yeah, Prince. Hope you're doing good wherever you are, boy. But yeah, um, yeah. Prince is one of the ones, man. He was one of a kind, and yeah. You got time? Listen to all the albums. Good music, bro. But I mean, if you don't like, that's what I'm saying. If you, even if you didn't like funk, I mean, you can go to rap. Like he rapped, bro. He did a soul. He did a guitar. He did everything. So that's. Probably one of the main factors of his career that he was versatile. He was a versatile, and he literally did every genre. Like he played every instrument, and um, yeah, bro. Prince is one of a kind, man. But yeah, I don't really know what else to say, bro. I think I touched down on the albums. I touched down on the style. I touched down on um, a lot of things, bro. So yeah, I'm gonna see our next video. Um, I'm gonna come back with a vlog or something like that. I just wanted to get something. I wanted to make something, and I felt like making like a information video where I just sat down and talked, um, because that's just how how was how that's just how I was feeling, and I'm sitting in the crib doing really nothing, and I got it was just, I gotta do something to stay consistent. So yeah, vlogs are coming, videos and everything like that. But yeah, I'm gonna see y'all next video. Hope y'all stay safe. Peace out.